This old abandoned house dates back to the early 1800s and was registered as a historic place in 1983. Today, however, the home has fallen into disrepair, though its antique craftsmanship and handworked materials still bear witness to its former glory. This house exemplifies the unique characteristics of a rare form of American folk architecture. The inside of this abandoned house is filled with antique furniture and relics from past occupants over the past 200 years. Join me as I navigate the abandoned home and sift through 200 years of history. All right, guys, here we go. We're inside. You guys saw in the intro what's going on in this house. So much old stuff, guys. You guys are absolutely going to love this one. If you love the old furniture, you love the old mirrors, old antique stuff, this house is going to blow your mind. So let's turn the camera around and let's just get right to it, guys. Here we go. All right. So uh, like, I could start anywhere in this house and it's just going to like blow your minds, guys. So I'm going to work my way to the door where we came in from. And then I'm just going to take you on a tour from the front, from the door where we came in. And then you guys can see everything. Oh man, this place is crazy, guys. Okay, so here's the door we came in. And so the first thing we see is this sort of kitchen room here. And it seems like it was at one point some kind of an office. So look at this old stove, guys. Right? Look at that. It's in such good shape, too. And this fridge here. Just crazy, guys. Crazy. Look at this thing. Flit sprayer. Huh. All right. Got an old Apple monitor stand right there. So clearly when this was a house that people lived in, this was the kitchen. But then it's been used for some kind of storage for parts and things. shoe right there man look at that old sugar back there and this house isn't even like off the beaten path this is off of a main road and like it's crazy that it's in this kind of condition and wait till you see the antiques this oh it's a tape player yeah you guys are going to be amazed at how much is still left behind here and hasn't been taken it's just crazy and here Oh, it's a fridge. All right, moving on along here, guys. This remote control car is very out of place in here. There's some kind of an office space. A desk, some maps up there. Whatever the heck this thing's supposed to be. No idea. Midwestern Geophysical Laboratory, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hmm. I don't know, guys. Big drafting desk here. And then you got all the peeling paint on the ceiling. All right. Let's get to the good stuff, guys. Make our way through here. All right. So here's like a sitting room slash office fireplace so many nice chairs in this house too there's a lot of urbex staging in this house where explorers and photographers have come through and set things up like this scene right here has been clearly staged there's so many staged things upstairs actually makes it kind of cool in my opinion Makes it easy for me. I don't have to do it. All right, let's move on in. More offices here. We got these really old, heavy-ass metal desks. Check it out back here. There's your Epson monitor. Telephone and keyboard. What's up, guys? Here. What do you got in here, guys? Oh. All right. Books, pay book, bookkeeping and stuff. All 
Okay. More books there. Another one of these. What do we got in here, guys? Nothing. After all that effort, there's nothing in there. Look at this comfy chair here, eh? Printer. Massive, massive Hewlett Packard laser jet. Holy crap, that's a big one. All right, here we go to the good stuff. Working our way in. Got this piano here, whatever the heck you call this. Nice though, right? Look at that chair. What is up, guys? This is Carlo Paolozza, a famous YouTube personality and Italian guy. Make sure you are subscribed to my best buddy, Freaktography. Smash the like button on all of his videos and make sure you leave a comment down below. Now, let's get back to this great Freaktography video. Staircase is beautiful. Woo! All right, take a look here. Take a panning shot. Upstairs is where it's at, guys. So we're going to go upstairs and check it all out. I'm going to take this up here, go up. Now here is a little staircase that goes back down to where we came in. All right. All right. Rhythm Rider, he's up here somewhere. All right. So here we go. There he is. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Oh, stop. <laughs> so this here, totally not staged by other explorers, obviously. I was told this house is called the Red Velvet Chair House, and this explains why, guys. It's got two red velvet chairs. Wallpaper on the ceiling, on the walls. Got a really old record player here. All kinds of old mirrors and furniture and desks and stuff. I put this here to, uh, it was so bright in this room and I was trying to shoot this. Maybe I'll take this down now. Hold on a sec, guys. Be right back. All right. So I took that down. So we got more light now. It's a mirror. What's up, guys? So a little bit more light coming in now, maybe. Here, there's just some old mirrors, clock and lampshades and furniture and desks. There's a bed. There's a bed right here that's completely just covered with stuff. Crazy, guys. Crazy. All right. Let's move our way around here. And we'll go this way. This is where Rhythm and I are just keeping our stuff. My camera, our camera bags. Pretty cool here. These chairs set up in here. All right. Fake plants, guys. To the not abandoned police. These are fake plants. How much paperwork? Just junk. This room here is pretty sweet. Bedroom here. Another one of these pianos. Totally staged by other explorers for their pictures. All kinds of stuff. Let's just zoom in here. We've got, got some cards for your birthday. It's like a sewing kit right there. That's a cute little picture there. Who's this guy? Wow. And then here's the bed. Big comfy bed right there. Hey. Okay. What's up, guys? All right. Got to climb back in here. Dangerous, guys. Dangerous. Then we got this desk. Nice desk, right? Look at this. Man, more red velvet chairs. Picture. 
Oh, man. Look at this wallpaper. Wow. Hey, I got something for you. You do? Yeah, here. Oh, you know what I saw? That? Yeah. <laughs> what the size of that? You're not going to break that one. <laughs> In case you're wondering what just happened there, guys, on the way in yesterday, Rhythm Rider ripped his camera bag badly and he had to sew it. So we had to go to a dollar store so he could get himself a cheap dollar store sewing kit and he broke the needle like right away. So, <laughs> so I just found and gave him a, an antique sewing kit with a fat ass needle in it. <laughs> you go upstairs? Yeah. Fuck, it's cool, right? <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're going to go back here now. Oh, some toilet paper in there. A whole bunch of toilet paper in there. Okay. Bando yeah, bando poops if you got to do it. Okay. Back here, we got some cool stuff. Campbell soup. I wonder what's in there. Let's see what we got here, guys. Anything in there? No. Nope. Okay, we'll go up there last because it's really cool up there. All right. Here we go. Another really cool room. Got some old pictures here. Antique books. Old photos. So many chairs. There's so much to look at. Look at this uh, thing around the door here. Wow. I didn't notice that earlier. Grandfather clock. Going pretty fast here, guys. All right, here we go. Upstairs fireplace, rocking chair. This couch right here. Oh, man, guys. Mirror. Look at this. This is the attic. Look at that. Oh, man, this place is so cool. I didn't even notice this stuff up hanging off the ceiling. Wow. This house is phenomenal. Phenomenal, guys. I don't say that word often. All right. All right. Look at this. That's a light. That's a light fixture right there. Wow. That's neat. Neat, guys. Okay, let's go upstairs now. Upstairs, upstairs. Super cool up here. This place is so old. Again, heavily, heavily staged by others. Old phone there. Radio. Man. Look at this picture. That's an old bed. Oh. All right. I think this is a stretcher or something, maybe. I don't know. Weird. And then there's another little attic back here with just all kinds of stuff. There's just so many cool old antique things in this house. Like, look at that mirror right there. And these clocks. Wow. It's so cool. Way too much stuff. There's so much stuff in here. What do we got here? This thing here, eh? Put this on the bed here. There we go. Here you go. All right. The original owner of the land that this home sits on was born in the late 1700s. He inherited the property from his family. 
After he died, the property passed to his son, a carriage maker and master wheelwright, who likely benefited from the property's strategic location along the well-traveled road. Today, the house sits abandoned and decaying atop a small hill at a busy intersection in a very well Okay, guys, that's a wrap on this one. This is our uh, birthday bando number one on birthday road trip with Random Rider. Rooms He's downstairs somewhere. We're gonna drop his links down below. Hope you guys have liked this one home. as much as I have. So many cool antiques. I probably could have spent so much more time here, guys, but we got a lot of places to go on this trip. So uh, can't stay too long in any place else. So you guys know what to do. Hit those links down below. Follow Random Rider. Drop a comment down below. Make sure you like this video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, guys. That's it. See you next time. Peace.